Hey guys, here we are back at this beautiful aquarium. I'm helping uh, Greg from uh, the Living Reef, Reef um, get his aquarium uh, maintained while he's away on holidays. So I just cleaned the glass, just kind of going over everything, which is actually a good thing I did because this one MP60 had fallen off um, and was just dangling on. So that's good, got that back up and running for him. Other than that, everything on the tank was doing good. Glass was just dirty, I didn't get a before shot, but it's all cleaned up now anyway. And I've got five tanks to do for this uh, little side job, which is a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys can hear me over all the equipment. And uh, really enjoyable to come and hang out and see uh, the different tanks he's got. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey. and. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've got a more detailed video on this tank already on my channel. If you want, you go ahead and check that out. And uh, this tank does amazing. And it's quite a simple, uh, simple system. He doesn't really dose anything. No fancy, uh, you know, uh, lights really. Like it's just T5, so you can go on to the other video to really, like I said, see the whole thing. But. It's, uh, it's something else, that's for sure. So uh, we are gonna go ahead, get out of this one and move on to the next. Be sure to stick in there and I'll be right back. All right, here we are at our next tank. This one I still gotta clean, I haven't cleaned it yet, but it is a nice little uh, glass cube. Nice little tank, glass is dirty. It's been sitting a week or more or whatever, so. I will clean it and then I'll make a bit more video. All right, now that one's all clean. It's a little foggy, obviously, because of stirring everything up. There was a little cyano on the uh, on the sand bed, so it's kind of stirred that up to let it get mixed around. And uh, other than that, this one is good to go. Let's go to the next one. And this, by far, is the biggest of the tanks. It is I don't even know it's like eight or nine feet long uh, 36 inches tall roughly and probably 30 inches deep so probably eight foot by 36 by 30 roughly um, let's have a look lots of coral in here I know the color is not going to come out very good but really big clam like it's there's my hand so it tells you kind of how big it is huge nice little elegance there bubble coral some Kenya tree type things glass though really big Um, I'll do a full video on this tank separate, so be sure to check that one as well. And uh, we will move along to uh, some more tanks. I've got two little nano tanks left to do, so let's get moving. And here we are, fourth tank of the day. Nice little cube tank. Oh, and I say little, it's probably uh, 90 gallons. And uh, really nice. Some uh, basic softy tank, um, a lot of leathers and mushrooms. Nothing wrong with that. They got a lot of Asteria stars, but you know, the, the good thing about them, a lot of people don't like them, but they do eat the algae off the glass. Not a whole lot of it, but some. Some nice oanthids. There's another one of those fish I saw in the other tank. I like him. over here so it looks like some Jabo power heads maybe those mushrooms are really big I like that mine don't go that big stupid clownfish playing in the uh, Kenya tree or whatever uh, let's have a look underneath 
So in this one, there's just a little auto top off tank right there. And a little sump over there. It's kind of a easy. I don't even think he's got a filter in there, like a filter sock or anything. Pretty simple looking system though. Oh, there may be actually maybe a filter sock there. But anyway, real simplified system. Yeah, you definitely don't need to complicate things with uh, with some of these tanks. And uh, that will be that tank, and I will show you the next one. I did this one before cleaning. I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm going to clean it right now, though. But uh, let's get to it. And I forgot to mention that it's got a LED light and auto feeder as well. So I just figured I should mention that. The LED, I believe he said, uh, Greg said it was just a Chinese panel or something. I'm not really sure. I don't see a name on it. But uh, clearly it does the trick anyway. That's it. I just wanted to update that. All right, one last clip since it's all clean now anyway. Looking good. Nice and clean. A little foggy, obviously, from stirring up everything, but I like those recordias on the floor there. Um, he had a uh, file fish, which is what people told me to get to get rid of my Aptasia, but never got around to it. Uh, now he's hiding. I gave him a little bit of seaweed, make him happy. Silly little clownfish. That's not an enemy. He's having a great time in there though. Yeah, seems to like it. I guess he ain't that smart. But, all right guys, off to the next tank. And here we are on the final tank. After I set the alarm off here, uh, the uh, keys got stuck in the ring, so that's all right. I uh, disarmed it and the alarm people called. I explained to them everything was good. And uh, this is amazing for such a small little nano. This is about a 30 gallon, I believe. Um, and look at that Fabia. Wow, like that's the size of a soccer ball. I'm not even joking. Xenia, I haven't cleaned this yet. A couple of fish. Um, looks like I got some Digi back there, a couple of them. And uh, very impressive. This one is the NanoCube HQI, so it's got the uh, halide light, I believe. Yeah, right there. Halide light all in one. And uh, let's get it cleaned up and I'll show you another quick glance. There we go. Job well done. All the tanks are clean. And obviously you're going to have a bunch of crap floating around right now as the uh, Favia puts out little saliva or whatever you know corals do but uh, other than that everybody's good all tanks got a little bit of seaweed and I'll leave a little trigger I uh, I'm definitely interested in putting one into my tank I didn't think they were reef safe but I don't know a lot of people say they are and then other people say they're not so I don't know I'm gonna consider it because I really like them but uh, thanks for watching guys hopefully you've uh, liked this little peek into five different tanks and uh, thanks to uh, Greg for, you know, getting me to assist you with this. It's my pleasure. And uh, it was a fun day. It took a few hours for you guys. Obviously, it's probably like a five or so minute video. I don't know. But it uh, took a couple hours to get around and do it all. But it was a fun time. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.